Gonna send my boat across the water Gonna let the waves lead her there Gonna lift my spirit like the wind in her sail And ride this holy prayer Across this ocean with nothing in my hands, just a song of devotion till I reach that holy land. And I'm standing before you now, and I'm For the sky So my soul longs to know you And like the smallest seed In the widest of fields I am humble before you Yes, I'm humble Before you now And I'm coming home Shalom, I am Rabbi Shaul Praver. You're watching Rabbi Rock. Today, our guest is Guillermo McLean, and uh, he is a 
coming from an economics background. He has a BA in, from Georgetown University, an MBA from the Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth. And in, uh, just very recently, in 2009, he has founded Social Future Exchange Corp. And uh, welcome. Very, very nice to have you here, Guillermo. Can you tell us your um, mission statement from your corporation? Sure. Um, the mission statement is anything a society truly wants is financeable and achievable. Anything a society truly wants is financeable and achievable. So um, how did you um, come to that moment of truth, that realization? <laughs> um, it was a long journey, I guess, and one day I, I, um, I'm, I, I'm trying to achieve something in finance. I'm trying to achieve a, a breakthrough and come up with uh, financial products that will help achieve uh, highly un ambitious social goals. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, I guess, uh, a bunch of I had a bunch of experiences. Uh, um, and yeah, I see. Uh, I, I didn't mention them. You have 16 years of experience in Wall Street. Um, you focused on innovation, merging capital markets concepts with the social world. You were with the uh, Deutsche Bank and uh, Sanford Bernstein as a researcher. So basically, you got paid to think. And I, um, I, so got I like your thoughts. That's why you're here. So. I, I I got to pay paid to think and 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 to do. And um, I don't know. I mean, uh, b going back to uh, trying to answer your question about how did I come up, it's it, it, w it, it was a long journey. And one day, um, uh, the chairman of a, of a major corporation said to me about a, a specific topic. He said, how come we didn't achieve this? Uh, or how are we going to achieve it if company XYZ, which was another large corporation, mm -hmm. uh, hasn't achieved it after all? Why is it that they haven't achieved it? And I don't know, I just kept on thinking about the question and I went back to him and I said, listen, I think they didn't really want to achieve it. Hmm. And it's something hard to explain, but um, in, in, in social finance, I think that some things uh, are not financeable because we really don't want them. Like what? Um, no, I guess there are lots of topics that like, uh, I could see and, it, and, and it's not one specific topic, but it's one specific topic for each person. Well, like, like, let's say, you know, um, it sounds like a good idea for everybody to own their own home, pride in home ownership, that's all good. And we all feel good about signing on that. And when George Bush first said it, it sounded good. And, you know, sure, everybody, you know, should have some pride and dignity in home ownership. But um, we found out that that's not necessarily um, achievable s so easily. Yeah, when it comes to social goals, there are lots of things that sound very nice and sound, uh, you know, uh, I guess become cliche, you know. And right, um, it's a politically correct, it's a nice thing to say. Politically correct, uh, and uh, just to use like, again, maybe cliche topics um, and cliche examples, um, I, I, I use this analogy. It's, it's very different than uh, not to mind that a beautiful girl comes and gives you a kiss mm -hmm. versus being completely in love. It's a different woman. kind of a kiss. You know, right. it's, a, it's a very, very different uh, approach to things. So sure. there are a lot of social goals like reducing poverty in certain countries or, or in certain regions of the U.S. or reducing crime or um, uh, reducing child mortality in the world, for Everybody's example. Everybody's willing to give a casual kiss to that. But yeah, not, I mean, why? How, how can I? Yeah, how can I say I I I don't want for poverty to be reduced right. in certain areas, right? But the question is, am I really completely in love with the objective of reducing poverty? Yes. And I am using this analogy just to say that it's a, it's a very different approach to it. And I'm saying anything that you're completely in love with, mm -hmm. you'll keep on this analogy is financial. Like we you'll can achieve it, it if there's a will, there's a way. There's yeah, I mean, achieve. There, there are two steps. One is that we have to make it at least put resources into it, right? Mm -hmm. And put major capital and major, you know, human resources into it. And then we'll have to figure out what level is achievable, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, but there's no excuse if you really are in love with something mm -hmm. to 